Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you've reached Natural Vibration. This is your January love reading. This would apply to anybody in a twin flame, soulmate, karmic relationship. This could apply to singles, it could apply to couples. So just take what resonates as these are general readings <clears throat> and will not resonate with everyone. All right, so let's start. What's the overall energy for the for Aquarius? Lovely. What's the overall love energy for Aquarius for January? All right, Aquarius. Health. The overall energy for you right now is health. Now, when we look at <clears throat> health, talks about different aspects of our life it talks about our physical health it talks about our mental health our spiritual health our emotional health um when you look when we look at it from a love point of view because this is a love reading <clears throat> this is telling me that some of you need to take that <clears throat> your health your emotional your mental your physical well-being is affecting how you behave in a love relationship or in the love area. Things like depression, anxiety, lack of self-love, um, physical ailments, all of that affect you. And that affects how you manifest love into your life as well as how things are unfolding in your love life. For example, maybe you are in a relationship and things are not going well. And you've been kind of very negative about it. You've been thinking really negatively about it. You've been down in the dumps. You think nobody loves you. You're not good enough. You don't deserve love. This could be anything. If you're looking for a relationship, these thoughts could be coming up. These are negative thoughts that block us from manifesting what it is that we truly want. And that's what the health card is telling us. That the month of January, it is very important for you to focus on your well-being, on how you look at love on how you look at self-love, on how your body copes with people, how your energetic, how your energy is when it comes to love, when it comes to a particular person. Are you shooting yourself in the foot before you can even start something? Because you are negative, you're thinking negatively. You're imagining the worst. You're thinking of past instances that has, that don't have to repeat themselves. But we think it would because that's what happened in the past. That makes sense. What else is in store for January love Aquarius? Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity. Sudden immediate results. Important communication. I feel like in the month of January, you might have like an epiphany. And you see the coloring. Look at that. These are both action cards. Lower chakra. Security. Action. Groundedness. What this is telling me is that all of a sudden you might have an epiphany and you're like, oh my God, this is what is wrong. Or, oh my God, this is what's been blocking me. This might lead to certain communications or certain communications might lead to this information where you have this epiphany, where you're like, wow, this is what it is. And I know what to do now. I know exactly what to do when it comes to my love life. You know, maybe some of you have been so negative that you have, you've been stuck, you know, you've been stuck. And if you're stuck, you don't know what to do. Divine guidance. Number five, change. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surrender yourself to wise teachers and friends. What is this telling us? The universe is helping us get make sense of the situation. So I feel for some Aquariuses in the month of Jan, you're a bit lost, you're a bit confused, you're a bit down in the dumps, and there are certain things affecting you. Could be your negative mindset, could be your emotional thinking, could be physical ailments. This is blocking you from love, whether you're in a relationship or not. And I think what the universe is telling you right now is to look 
deeper. Now is not the time to evaluate things on the surface level. That is the basis of ener the energy world, of law of attraction. The 3D world, the world that we live in, this world, is just an illusion. It's like the matrix. It's just what we think of it. If two people wake up and it's a rainy day and they both face the same day, one might think of it as the shittiest day ever and the other person will be like, wow, it's raining, amazing. The circumstances don't change. It's what we perceive them to be. The 3D world is an illusion. It's a reflection of what we feel within. So the universe is telling you that Aquarius, in January, it is time for a little bit of soul searching. It is time for you to go within. It is time for you to ask for help, maybe from spiritual leaders, maybe from therapists, maybe from friends and family. Consider something different. Consider something that you haven't done. If you are a very logical person, because I know how Aquariuses are. Aquariuses. Aquarius people are. Either which way. Maybe you need to start being more spiritual. Maybe you need to trust the unknown. Maybe you need to trust your gut. We've, we've got justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings will be made in your favor. Don't give up. Things will balance themselves out. If something, if you feel confused and you feel like, I don't know where this is going. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel things are not fair to me. I don't think I have been fair to people, but I don't know how to fix it. The universe is telling you, we are helping you. You have got to trust your gut. You've got to trust your intuition. What is your intuition? Your intuition is a universe trying to talk to you. Your, your higher self, God, whatever you believe in, they're trying to talk to you. And they're telling you that justice will prevail. Things will balance itself out. You cannot give up right now. If there is something that you want in your life and you're so worried, it's so worked up that you don't know how to achieve it. The universe is saying is, we're helping you. Trust your gut. If this is something you truly want, trust it. Open your mind's ears and eyes because we're sending you signs we're helping you and things can balance out you can get what you want justice can prevail so you can't give up you can't let the negative thoughts take control and win one more card whoa two of gabrielle make bold and ambitious choices important relationships with people who share your vision and great progress is possible. You are about to embark on a new journey. It's a new decade. And if you look at the imagery of this card, look at that. You are being supported by the angels. You are going to move forward. But what's blocking you right now is this. How you're thinking about the situation. Are you being, are, you can, and look at that. The next card is two of Raphael, two of cups. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those who, lo who you love. What I'm getting is for some Aquarius, says, <laughs> um, again, these are general. There is a relationship that's there, but it's causing you to doubt that you are unsure of because your mind, your energy body, your, your, your um, ego mind, you know, the mind that tries to protect you from getting hurt, is telling you this is not going to work out. It's telling you this is a dead end. It's telling you this is just done. And the universe is saying that if you just trust your gut and, and believe that what you want is possible, that it can be. You can get that happily ever after. Things can work out. The only thing stopping in your, the only thing in your way right now, Aquarius, is your mind, is you, is your energy, how you're thinking about it. So it's important for you. Maybe you need to have a conversation with somebody. That is an important communication. Maybe you have been stopping yourself from communicating some things to somebody because you think there is no point 
you think things are not going to work out. And the universe is saying that you need to do that. You can't be afraid anymore. You can't let your negative mind, Aquarius, stop you from going after what you want because love is possible. Justice in this situation is possible. Ow. Yep, look at that. Children and love yourself first. Any more cards? Nothing else. This is telling me that there is situations, this is nothing, this, this negative energy, the lack of self-love, this feeling I'm not good enough, I'm not going to get love. It's coming from your childhood. It's coming from lack of self-love and self-belief, thinking you're not good enough. And this is coming from your childhood. This is coming from stuff that has happened growing up, where your family, your friends, where situations have made you feel like you needed to prove yourself, where you needed to prove why you deserve love because you felt you weren't good enough. This is not to do with this relationship, this person, this situation. This is to do with your childhood. You need to focus on self-love in January. You need to focus on the fact that you deserve love and you can get love and you, everything is possible. That's what you got to focus on. All right, Aquarius, I wish you all the best. Take care.